Today we're going to be working on the second derivative test so we can determine the concavity of the function f and also to see if there's um, a point of inflection in our graph. So f of x is equal to x cubed minus 12x minus 5. We will need our second derivative, so f prime of x is 3x minus 12. And the second derivative would simply be f double prime of x equal to 6x. So since we're using the second derivative test, we're going to get our critical number. from the second derivative. So we simply equate 6x to 0. So x is equal to 0. So since this is our critical number, we can use our sign chart. And now our sign chart has a different purpose and not to determine the um, local extrema or the behavior of the increasing and decreasing function, but to find and determine the concavity and the point of inflection of our function f using the second derivative. So we need to set a value for x here. Let's use negative 1 because negative 1 is less than 0. So we'll have 6 times negative 1 because that's the second derivative, 6x. And we'll have negative 6, which gives us a negative value for the second derivative. And for the next interval, we'll set the second derivative to positive 1, since 1 is over 0. 6 times 1 is 6, which is a positive value. So since we are using a different, or you are using the sign chart on a different purpose, to determine concavity, it's basically going to... Um, or the sign of our second derivative will help us determine the concavity of the function. If it's negative, the function f is concave down. And if we have a positive um, value for the second derivative, we have concave up. So for our analysis, f or function f is concave down on the interval negative infinity and 0. Or we can write it out as x less than 0 since f double prime is negative. And for our con concave down, at 0 to positive infinity, or we can write it out as x greater than 0 since f double prime is positive. Now, another condition about concavity is when you have um, concave down with concave up or opposite concavity in a given critical number, you are going to have a point of inflection for your function f. So POI, or point of inflection, exists at x equal to 0 since f double prime is changing from negative To positive. So this is now our um, analysis for function f of x using second derivative and we're able to um, identify where the concavity of the function f is and also if the point of inflection exists in a given function using the second derivative test. Now let's answer problem number two. For problem number two, f of x f double prime of x, I mean f prime of x is 5x to the fourth 
minus 80 and f double prime of x is equal to 20 x cubed so from our second derivative we'll set it to 0 to find our critical number and 20 x cubed equal to 0 will give us 0. So the critical number for our second derivative will be 0 and this is what we're going to be using in our sign chart. So let's see if the concavity is positive or negative or concave up or concave down on this interval. So let's start with the left interval. So let's use f of negative 1 and our f double prime is 20 x cubed this time so it's 20 negative 1 cubed which gives us 20 times negative 1 which is negative 20 so our concavity for the interval for x less than 0 is negative and for f double prime double prime of positive 1 we'll use 20 of 1 cubed and f double prime of 1 is 20 times 1 which is positive 20 so the concavity is positive for x value greater than 1 so just like what we did on problem number 1 f is concave down on the interval negative infinity and 0 f is concave up on the interval 0 and infinity and POI exists since F double prime changes from negative to positive and it exists at x equal to 0. And if you want to change it into uh, an ordered pair, so we'll have simply 0 and f of 0 is 100. So that is your point of inflection. And this is our analysis for the function f using the second derivative.